Hiya. Well, we all like to serve up something that looks exotic, a little bit tasty Mediterranean style food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to make a nice kebab meal. All oh, right, ingredients. Right, uh, I've got 400 grams of pork shoulder, which have cut into quite generous cubes. I've got that bagged up at the moment. I've got my lemon squeezer. I've got half a lemon. I've got some good quality uh, extra virgin olive oil. I've got about a third of a large pepper and about half a fairly large zucchini or courgette as we call them in Britain. Uh, a third of a large onion and I've got some thyme. This is thyme from my garden but you can use about a teaspoon of dried thyme for this recipe. It doesn't make a lot of difference. And I've got a couple of cloves of garlic. So I'm just going to get this cut up and I'll get it all put into this bowl and then we can dress it with the uh, the, the marinade. So I've got my garlic chopped up and I'm just sprinkling a bit of salt on it to help me mash it a bit. And I just really press down and pull on the knife and mash it like that and the salt helps it to uh, break up. You can do this just by very finely slicing the garlic if you like or just using a bit of garlic salt. So I've got my pork in my bowl and I'm just going to throw that in there and the vegetables are cut up into these sort of kebabby looking chunks as if they were going to be thread on skewers now so all this can go straight into the bowl and it's all going to get mixed up in a minute everything together and then I just want to take some of this thyme off here put that in there plenty of thyme I've got a mixture of lemon thyme and common thyme here which is which are rather nice for this particular kebab but like I said you can use dried thyme there's no stigma there it's just as good and the other thing I need to do is just whack some lemon on top of that gives great flavour does the lemon and this is a very simple dressing a very simple marinade because you I just tend to eyeball it but you want on top of that you want a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and then you can either get in with a couple of spoons or you can do it by hand as I do and get in there and get it all mixed together now ordinarily a shaslik kebab which is what this type of kebab would be is threaded onto skewers and cooked over a barbecue or a special kind of a wood grill wood ash grill but we're just going to mix that together like that get it all in give it a good mix and leave that for about about an hour maybe two hours at the most but uh, just stick that in the fridge and let that marinade this cooks very easily without threading it on skewers you just chuck it straight into the um, either into the oven or, or in, into the air fryer and you've got yourself a fabulous kebab and uh, I tend to serve you can serve it with um, pita bread or you can serve it with uh, pit, like I said pita bread and salad or you can serve it on rice I'm going to serve it on rice today okay one thing I neglected to mention was we need to get a little bit more seasoning onto this so I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit of salt put as much salt on as you like you want to be about half a teaspoon of salt I would think for that amount of meat and some nice um, 
black pepper, which I absolutely adore. And then I'll mix that in and then we'll get it in the fridge for about an hour or so. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and uh, leave your comments uh, below because uh, I really want to know what you think about these and um, I, I also need the, the likes, you know, it helps me a lot more than you can, uh, more than you can know really. Um, it beats the YouTube algorithm and gets my face in front of more more people and that helps me a lot it gets me through these tough times so uh, i do appreciate your help all right so i've cranked up my oven as high as it will go and instead of doing it in the um, air fryer today i'm going to do it i'm going to bake it on a tray in a very hot oven and i'll just grab it out of the fridge and show you So there it is all ready to go so I'm going to give that a little one more toss in the marinade get it out on the tray just an ordinary size baking tray spread it out a bit break up the onion if you've got large chunks of it and then just spread it out and then you bake that very hot oven some of that is going to catch and burn a little bit just like it does on a barbecue or just like it does on um, on a grill so uh, we'll get that in the oven now it's, uh, my oven's very very hot so we'll get that in and we'll run it we'll keep an eye on it but I'm, I'm thinking somewhere around about 25 minutes at uh, 250 celsius I'd like to say a big thank you to Bradley Bennett for your generous contribution. That's uh, helped provide the ingredients for this recipe, and uh, also it's helped me uh, help me uh, m a little bit more than you could know. Thank you very much. That's very generous. All right, let's have a look at this. Yeah. oh it's looking good so there you see if i'd have threaded it onto skewers and grilled it by the time i took it off the skewers it would have looked pretty much like that anyway so there we are so it's a lazy shaslik kebab cooked in the oven you can also cook it in the air fryer it probably take a little less time in the air fryer but uh, I wanted to show you it this way because more people actually have an oven than have an air fryer. So uh, I'm going to get this served up and show you what it looks like. So there we have it. A gorgeous, delicious shaslik. It's with, made with pork, this one. You can make it with other meats, as I've said before. And I've served it on a, like a vegetable rice, which um, I've got links to in the description below. And um, up in the corner here, if you're on YouTube watching it. So um, there you go. Enjoy. Enjoy.